I did not order it. Yo, what's good, YouTubes? This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC that is the Everyday City Carry. And I've got an unboxing. This is kind of a weird one because I know it's from Amazon, but I know I did not order it. So, uh, as you can see, I've got the Zach stuff sticker still here. Zach, get on the podcast again. We got to do it up on the Zoom. And today, I'm going to be using the Best Tech ghost uh in my unboxing i also didn't know what this was just like i don't know what this is but i kind of have an idea so let's do it uh the best i ghost i really like it um very very light extremely light for what it is the size uh carbon fiber scales and um s35vm blade steels this one is non-branded that's why i was confused it's like nothing on it which is kind of cool let's open this up now do that Take this out, dude. Take this out. Oh, it is from Kube. Is it Kubi or Kube? I didn't do the what uh, What do we do with this, actually. I did not do that. I failed you guys as a uh, knife reviewer. This says it is the Kube KB239. Reverse Tonto blade and carbon fiber handle with anodizing titanium clip for Hicken. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but uh, it does say Hicken on it. Let's open it up though. Does it say any other thing? Nope. Uh, it says self defense KB239. I think this is the Drake, if I'm not mistaken. Let's open this up. You got a Kube box. I never opened up a Kube before. Ooh. Packaging is a little. Hmm. I could have made this packaging. But, uh. <laughs> you gotta look at the knife. You gotta look at it. Let's put this right here. Put there. All right. So this is, um, it says Kube, it says, do what you never did. Yeah, you guys see that? Do what you never did. Okay. Okay, some people might do things that are not so good, but we can, uh, <laughs> you get the um, wiping cloth here. Very cool little logo they got right there. I like it. It's like a dude with, uh, I don't know, those ear, ear protector things. Congratulations on your purchase of your Kubi knife. Is it Kubi or Kube? What do you think? This card serves as a certificate of authenticity for your Kubi knife. I hope, we hope this Kubi knife will bring you a whole new excellent experience. Hmm. You guys will have to forgive me if I'm a little tired. It's 9 a.m. I woke up at 7. Ooh, what? They give you the... Oh, dude, this is like official, bro. Look how official that is. It's sealed. I'm the first person to freaking have this, yo. What do you guys think about that? I am the first person, dude. And we are going to use the titanium ghost this time. Loud thwack on that. I'm going to cut all the way in the top. Let's just see. All right, let's do that. So you can see the ghost is pretty sharp. Drop shot for the people. And what do we do with this? What do we do with it? Even though it's just a little plastic, I'm gonna have to look for it later. Got the silica gel. Not gonna throw this one because my cats might eat it. So let's put that down right there. I think this is the Drake. I pulled up the Drake on, um, let's see. Let's open it up and then I could find out. I've got three phones today on me. Ooh, excellent action. This is the Drake. Awesome. Uh, you know what? I really like Kubi's like little logo. It says KB on it. That's pretty dope. I like that. Look at this blade shape. This is a large one, dude. Look at that. Interesting. Interesting little knife. Carbon fiber. Blue backspacer. Blue pocket clip. And the way... Ooh, the screws look interesting. Look at that. You guys see that? Interesting screws there. Hmm. Huh. Really, really funny looking. They're like, f mm, I don't know. Maybe you guys could weigh in on that. I'm not sure if it works better or not. Um, let's check out the drop shit on this. All right, couple of shakes. Can you do the Spidey Flick on it? Yes. So it is Spidey Flick ready. This whole does work. Um, 
interesting thick dude feels thick in the hands and i'm not trying to say something sexual as usual but it just sounds like i am got a finger choil in the front and let's check out some of the things here it says max i can't read that it says max something this is an aus 10 which uh, i haven't had an aus 10 knife in a while pretty cool man pretty cool i am glad that kubi or kube uh, I'm not sure what to call it. It's kind of working with the Apex Pass Around group now, so I get to bring these on my channel. Is it gram ready? Love it. I love it when it's gram ready, so definitely expect some cool pictures of this on my Instagram. Interesting blade shape, though, huh? It uh, fails the palm test, but um, this is a large one. I just kind of want to check out as many knives as I can now. Uh, I like unboxing things. That's kind of like the bread and butter of the channel now is unboxing and podcasts. So I basically opted for everything new we have in the Apex Pass Round group. And uh, that, you know, so I could bring it to you guys, man. I really like it. Look how they did the lanyard there. It's like a little, uh, huh. I, I, I really like it when I could do the lanyard through the back here. You know what I mean? That's kind of like what I've been into. I forgot which knife got me into that. But uh, let's do a couple of more tests on this. Middle finger flick again. Let's try the left side. Cool. Action is pretty good. Pretty dialed in. Drop shot for the people. Too many shakes. Too many shakes on that. No, it's pretty good. I think I was just diagonal or something. Yeah. So let's try the left set, left hand. Very nice, man. For people that want a bigger knife, this is pretty pretty dope. Um, the price I saw on White Mountain Knives was $99, so, you know, it's a pretty, pretty uh, big expense for me. I, I do see lightning pockets on the inside there, so that's good. I see it on, I see it on one side only, on the show side. Interesting. I wish they lightened it a little more. It's a bit, it's a bit heavy, especially comparing it with like the Best Tech Ghost, dude. This is so light. I think it's like less than three ounces. Look, as you can see, this is much bigger than the Ghost. You know what I'm saying? Let's flip it a bunch. All right. That's what people want to see. Can I flip this over and over while being quarantined and watching Netflix? Yes, you can in many ways. Can you do tricks on it? You basically can do tricks on it. Um, reflip? Yes. Let's try that for this camera. I hope I don't mess this up this time. <laughs> wow, that's crazy to do that trick with it because <laughs> I like it, man. I like it. Very interesting. Check out that profile right there. You got the... wonder how this is going to feel in the pocket. This might poke you up a little bit. Let me try it. I don't know. I don't have anything else in my pocket. I only put my hand in it. Eh. I think it's, it's all right. You know, I'd have to like um, dig deeper into it and review it a little more before I make my final verdict. Very cool knife though. I like how Kubi is kind of like just taking a lot of risks, man, you know, with original designs they are kind of like getting into the market. I remember when Kubi was doing like stuff that you couldn't touch, you know, on the verge of like clone like, but I think they have a lot of new, like their own original material now, which I absolutely love, you know, what do you guys think? The Kubi Drake or Kubi Drake? Please, please <laughs> respond in the comments how I should pronounce this thing. Is it Kubi or Kube? I'm not sure. What do you guys think, dude? You think we should knives up? I think we should knives up right now. Knives up for the people, dude. Kubi Drake. The Best Tech Ghost. Two Best Tech Ghosts. And we're going to put a big in in there. HX Outdoors ZD006B. I am doing a giveaway on this, so keep an eye out for that. Thanks to Tony Miador for donating the knife. This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC saying peace. Lazy triple peace, because I just woke up not too long ago and I'm a slow starter. Yo, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments.